Hello, this is Mark from the MeTechie channel. Thanks for joining me on this video. Today we're talking about Dropbox and how to discover the file size allocation or what is being used on your Dropbox in terms of files, folders, storage in great detail. And the same amount of detail you would get from a traditional Mac Finder. This up till now has been essentially impossible without some form of a third party tool. And that third party tool would have to work directly with the Dropbox API. You'd have to go through all the folders and discover them one by one and add up all the files within the folders and then come up with some form of a report, much like an operating system already does it to do that. Well, you can't do that out of the box with Dropbox. So now you can with a third party tool, but this particular solution is the best I've seen so far. I'm using a Macintosh here, and the name of the application is called Daisy Disk. It's all one word. In fact, I've got it here on the screen. And uh, you can work with a free trial on this. It's uh, $9.99 when you buy it independent. I like to buy things through the App Store so that I can use them on my other Macs. I have a total of three Macs, so buy through the App Store. The licensing is a little friendlier to multiple Macs. So that's what it is. Now let's take a look at it in action. I've got Daisy Disk already loaded, locked and loaded. In fact, as of this morning here in the middle of 2021, they came up with an update which prompted me and inspired me to make this video, which is they have added support for Dropbox. They also have support for Google Drive, but Dropbox is the, is the thing that I've been using for years and years. So let me load up Daisy Disk and I'll show you how cool this is. This is Daisy Disk normally looking at all the different drives I have here. So over down here where it says scan folder, you can click on this down triangle and voila, you can connect Dropbox account or your Google Drive. So let's connect to my Dropbox account. It opens up a traditional browser here and asks if uh, it's okay to have permission to my Dropbox account. I've already established connection by giving it my credentials and that allows Dropbox permission for Daisy Disk to get in there and check out all the files and start adding them up. So once you've done that, you can close the browser window and now you'll see Dropbox is an icon here on my list of Daisy Disk uh, drives and so forth. And I've already scanned it once before, but I'll, I'll go ahead and scan it again. And you can see here that I've got the three terabyte version, the pro Dropbox account, because I use Dropbox for everything. It supports not only this channel, but my other main channel, uh, two businesses, another YouTube channel, two universities, online courses, everything. Dropbox, I use it for everything. But regardless of that, it's going to scan now. Now this scan will take, depending on how many files you have and how, how much detail it needs to go through, several minutes. For me, it took uh, two to three minutes before it had my whole Dropbox scanned. In fact, within the first minute, you should start to see the little line appear the progress indicator indicating that it's working. So we'll let this go a few minutes here and then we'll come back and see what it did to discover what's in my Dropbox. Yeah, in fact, here you can see the little line is now slowly moving, but don't let this mislead you. This line looks like it's going to take forever to complete, but it actually moves right along once it gets going here. It's just going to see it's starting to move now. It'll eventually get there and it won't take too much longer, but I'll come back when that's done. All right, here you can see it's moving along a lot quicker now, and it should finish up here by the time I end this sentence. So Daisy Disk is something I've been using for years as well, and I use it to discover all the different files on my computer and what is taking up the room. As you can imagine, when you start having a lot of files with a limited space, you wanna know exactly what's taking up the room. So here it discovered the breakdown of my Dropbox. So as I mentioned before, I have 3.1 terabytes of drive space available on Dropbox. 2.3 of those terabytes are being used, and then I have 761 gigs free. So my keys to music is my main channel, so I have a lot of videos there. So that's 1.8 terabytes of the room. Now, if I want to break this down, I could click on this, and then it shows that 1.8 terabytes uh, is in the folder called Thinkific, which is the course engine that I use. So that's likely going to have my courses, yeah, and here's the different courses I sell online and the space that each one of them take. What I tend to do is I make a video for a course, I upload it to Dropbox, that way I have cloud storage of all the lessons that I do, then I don't necessarily have to worry about keeping track of that on local drives. 
But as you can imagine, video can be quite large. And as you get to hundreds and hundreds of videos, which is pretty much where I'm at now, uh, Dropbox is 3.1 terabytes is still not enough room for all the videos. So what I've had to do is I've had to put a lot of my videos for the channels on various high speed, two gig and four gig drives and sprinkled them throughout so that I can store all this stuff. But the most critical things uh, and the files that I'm going to be working with on a regular basis, I tend to put on Dropbox so that it has, like I said, cloud storage. So that's how this works. So I can keep going down into different uh, folders. And then you can see here, now I'm down to the individual video level. As I look at the file list, you might notice that some are in gray and some are in green. The green means that there are further levels to go. So in this case, discover just what I needed. The cars is actually a folder. And then within that folder, I have two files, the actual video file and then a zip file of some supporting files or maybe some sounds. So as I go back a level, which by the way is command left arrow. So there's some nice built-in navigation on this too. As I go back, I can see, okay, this is the actual file. That's as far down the chain or the tree that I can go. Uh, and that's really the distinction here between those two. And then of course you have this nice graphic interface as you move along here, you can see the subtleties happening. So it gives you a visual too, so that you can kind of say, oh wow, what are the big files here? You can see right in the middle as I, and this also is a navigation tool, by the way. So you can say, okay, here's my 2.3 terabytes. If I go to here, what's taking up that? Okay. So in a sense, this is a graphic representation of what's here listed in numbers and letters. Daisy Disk is something I highly recommend. Like I said, I've been using it for years. I don't think it costs that much. It looks like it's around $10. It's, it's worth every penny if you are the type of person who is really looking for making room on your computers or your drives and really seeing what's what and what's taking up, what's eating your space. Because chances are you've got possible duplicates. You've got files that you no longer need but are taking up extra room. These drives cost money, especially the high-speed SSDs drives, the thumb drives or the remote drives. They, they cost money. They're a big investment. So you don't want to have anything on there that isn't necessarily needed. But the big takeaway from today is the ability to scan your actual cloud-based drive, which has up till now really been impossible on the website. In fact, you can go to the website. It'll tell you what your total space usage is. It will not tell you and give you a nice, neat, complete list of every file and what it's taking. And not only that, it doesn't sort them from high to low either, the way that this does. So, I mean, look at this. Boom, there's my Dropbox. These are the biggest culprits starting at the top. Working your way down, you can weave inside the folders, check it all out. I, I just tell you, this is just, it's so worth the money. Anyway, that's it for now on this video. Hope to have more content in the near future. Thanks for joining me, and we'll catch you on the next one.